then solutions come or ideas flow or yeah, we inspired or social action happens or <laughs> doing well-being and the inspiration so we get mm -hmm. we're and which doesn't have to you don't have to be a great artist or a great violinist but that aspect of our of our knowing and the feeling that comes in that creativity when you know a child is just having fun drawing just doing it for the pure joy of it yes and right and, and right putting just just for fun just because and who knows what that is or waiting for a solution having a, a working on a, some problem or a, whatever and and finally you know getting to a quiet place sometimes right solutions just pop up oh yes, fully formed and we allowed that exactly. to happen that's being that's right and, and roberto Asagioli's model uh, at the very top he has a higher self and it just flows ideas into us they're always there and it seems that we have access in that higher place we have access to everything uh and it's just like you have access to universal library or whatever you need you just have to ask and then just let the answer drop in and so again reading more about uh about roberto's work <laughs> That sense of that self is really, it, it's almost like we're expanding. It's not like that's separate from our everyday as we're, well, this is another way to say the same thing, being while doing, doing while being. That yes, we shift into a state of oneness because at a spiritual level, we're all part of a oneness. Uh, individually, we're all in separate bodies and uh, you're in Maine and I'm in Berkeley, California, so we're physically separate. Berkeley, California! In a state, you shift into a spiritual place. We're all part of oneness. And one of my steps, in, and for people preparing for surgery, I'll ask them to ask friends and family to think of them during the half hour before surgery. And wherever their friends are around the country, to, to think of that per, the person who's in the holding area waiting for surgery and just wrap them in a blanket of love if they get 20 friends to do that, many people say, oh, I felt so peaceful as I was waiting. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! You fucking bliss ninnies! You goddamn clueless fucking moron bliss ninnies! You fucking piss me off every bit as much as the goddamn war criminal, evil fucking corporate horror, war mongering fucking evil fucking assholes you clueless fucking cunts pull your fucking clueless moron heads out of your fucking asses you know you make me want to fucking puke Jesus fucking Christ have to listen to this fucking shit this fucking shit was going on 45 fucking minutes ago. We were listening to this really good program uh, of some playing some music from Austin, Texas. Uh, they, they were playing, uh, you know, I was listening, well, I don't guess Ry Cooter's from Austin, Texas, but uh, they were playing Slade Cleaves, I guess because he used to be from Maine, and uh, they were playing Gillian Welch and David Rawlings and whatnot, and then this fucking shit comes on. And, and, and then, of course, what, what I, the, and, and, and the, my only other choice uh, is to turn over to, to the fucking NPR station to Maine Public Radio. And there, there's about 20 fucking uh, Maine Public Radio stations and every motherfucking one of them, all day yesterday, all day today, all day tomorrow, is, is on, the, is, is live, live from these goddamn uh, Supreme Court, these, these Kavanaugh hearings. You know, hour after hour after hour after hour uh, of this goddamn shit. Uh, you know, listening to this planet-eating motherfucker lying 
out, out his goddamn ass uh, th that he's going to honor the fucking U.S. Constitution? Th th this motherfucker is, is as big a threat to the U.S. Constitution and to this planet a a a as that motherfucker who nominated him. You know? Doesn't matter where you fucking turn anymore on the left side of the dial. And, you know, looking for some goddamn intelligent programming. Getting the fuck out of the, the commercial uh, radio stations. This mindless, mindless fucking noise that Ignatius J. Riley used to talk about in Confederacy of Dunces. A, you know, one of the major ways that um, that Orwell was talking about to keep the clueless fucking morons clueless is, is to bombard them 24 hours a fucking day with this this schmaltzy fucking schlock uh, that that's known as as commercial radio, and, and I try to escape it by going over here to, to the left side of the dial looking for somebody with a fucking brain, and, and I've got these goddamn uh, Supreme Court nomination hearings uh, on one channel, and, and these two goddamn fucking little bliss ninnies talking about their motherfucking green bubbles uh, of healing fucking energy, or, 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 or their, their high vibrations, and, and all of this shit. Uh, I, I was, I, I wish that I had played this part where, where, where this fucking clueless bitch from uh, Berkeley, California, no less, was actually speaking pretty well of anger. You know, which they were talking about low vibration people and how depressed people were so low vibration. And the other clueless little bitch uh, mentioned anger, and I could not believe it that this fucking clueless little bliss ninny from Berkeley actually gave anger uh, some credit. You know? Jesus. Anyway, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. And the little dog wants to hang his head out the window. Let's see if these two bitches are still on here. Oh, I don't believe it. We have some music back. So I can close this rant. I do not believe it. One fucking hour uh, of that shit rambling on, that bloviating, uh, clueless fucking moron bullshit. Get so goddamn sick of these motherfucking bliss ninnies. You know? Jesus, these fucking bliss ninnies. Uh. Pull your head out of your fucking ass, you goddamn bliss ninnies. I'm gonna go back and listen to some tunes while I still can before they get some other fucking bliss ninny here on the left side of the dial. Bye guys.